You're listening to the Doug Stanhope Podcast. <laughs> I, I bought you something because I know you like to eat bugs. Oh. <laughs> so, I got you. Yes. Yeah. Nothing pairs better with mimosas than go. sour worms. The best. Yep. The best. Perfect. <laughs> now I get that so no. yeah, naked and afraid. I will have to hit that at, mm-hmm. at, at some point. Like, uh, do you like, do you even go out where you, to meet new people without going? All right, I'm, I'm going to have to bring up the naked and afraid thing again. Does it happen to you every day? Like, I can't say like I live in Bisbee without being like, is Doug Stanhope your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> say like, yes. Yes, no. yes, he is. <laughs> yes. I love that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, it happens on a regular basis. Maybe not every single day, but definitely every airport, every public outing. There's always, I call it naked and afraid sightings. <laughs> yeah. You'll see them. I mean, this, you know, this, I'm sure this happens to you guys too. Like you'll see, like, you'll be in a grocery store, like in Tucson or something. And then you'll see people like, like looking at their phone and like looking at you and looking at their phone and looking at you. I love it because it's, it's random enough. And mm-hmm. someone will go, and they'll be over the top. Fuck you, Doug Stanhope. Yes. Yeah. And nobody else has any idea who Doug Stanhope right. is. But the one guy is losing his shit. Yes. And, and then he'll that. drag like some unsuspecting stranger into it. Like, that's Doug Stanhope. That's Doug Stanhope. And the buddy's like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I have no idea that, what that means. Airports are the worst. They're the well, worst. No, they're they're yeah. great, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, like, well, yeah. I like it. We were just talking about that. I was telling you how we could not do Disneyland when I was married to my ex-husband, Danny, because... Danny you, Bonaducci. For Danny the Bonaducci. Listener. Yeah, we would be um, in these, thing, you know, the lines, and they circle around, and you stand at Disneyland forever, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> he would be trapped there, and you couldn't go anywhere with people with cell phones who just wanted pictures and there was nowhere to go. So like we just couldn't even go because it was so horrifying for him that now he had to take pictures with 10,000 people on the log ride or the, you know, whatever yeah. ride. That's uh, the, best. Uh, the, the pictures are yeah. the fucking worst. Like I, I'd rather like Louis CK, I'm not taking pictures anymore. But I'll talk to you for a few minutes, and it sure. should be way better than this dumb picture with a <laughs> fake smile. But I remember I was we, Tallahassee, Florida. We had just driven from whatever the gig was the night before for hours, and we sat down at sushi, and the bar was open except for one guy who was just getting his bill. And I go, oh, he's, he's just paying, so let's we'll sit at the bar so we don't have to fucking... And he's, he recognized me, and then... Or ordered more sushi. Oh, <laughs> so, he's like, take that check back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that, there's there are times where you're stuck with someone where yep. you, like, the whole time. Go ahead. Pick me. Go ahead. My best time was when we were. It was an airport. I got recognized. It was really outlandish, and they never recognized Stanhope, ah. who was standing next to me the whole time. That is it was less. all about bingo. It yep. so great. I, awesome. I used to love when that happened, too, when people were like, aren't you great? And Danny's right there. But that it really didn't happen often. They pretty much recognized Oh, this him. only was once. <laughs> but I, I understand how you relish that, because it's so great, like, on your own, that people realize you. And and that's a pretty, you know, amazing thing to well, be. It wasn't even amazing. It was just hysterical. I love it. No. Oh, because and, uh, she she would be on Howard Stern with yeah. me, like we're uh, known as a couple as much as just me on my own. So it wasn't, and she's got blue hair, so so that I know. Just, I'm, your husband is, yeah. 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 And she usually is. dresses in some kind of outlandish Stupid. fucking yes. gown, top or hat, cow That's suit a, with yep. a top hat, and a, whatever. Uh, I still love it. It was the best soak day it up. Of my whole life. I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I like so you're, I but you're, the people that recognize you, do you, I would assume you get a lot of pervs. Uh, yeah. Online. Uh, the pervs right. are online. It's always nice people in public. Like in public, they're like, oh my God, hold my child. Let's have a selfie. <laughs> like that's awesome. But like online, it's really creepy. And here's what I didn't realize. Foot fetishists. It's a whole thing. Oh yeah, that is. What? That yes. Is. <laughs> yep. yes. I don't have that. No, it's a total <laughs> thing. And like... Especially when it first came out, like, and I could have made a ton of money because one guy was like, hey, can I pay you in Bitmo, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Venmo, Bitcoin, whatever, (laughs) Bitcoin, 
for a picture of your feet. I should have said yes. I mean, I could have so much money at this point. Wow, let's see your feet right now. They're just like, I can see gonna your help. feet. There's nothing. Like if your feet are that spectacular, there's, we need to see them right now. It's, I mean, we can Everyone, do. I'm I don't know, you'd have to charge extra. They're tattooed on the top, but the bottoms. Uh, I just <laughs> watched a, a, a podcast, the first podcast you ever did, uh, about, I think five, six years ago. Uh, with, Whose uh, podcast was it? Was, it uh, was come on in. This this is the dumbest oh. name, uh, horny and uh, hangry and, uh, hangry and horny, and horny. Yeah. with Tony. Ah, oh, Tony, what yeah. a good guy! And she's <laughs> sitting on his fucking couch with her fucking shoes up. You're like, honey, this isn't your show. Put some <laughs> shoes up. She was playing her toenail. In fact, one of the first things she did was I. I yeah, yeah, pick up my toes. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. Leave, what what you great. see is what you get. There's like <laughs> it is like it's the same even no matter where you see but me. The, the irony is the huh. like one of the first things she did on her first naked and afraid because she was on a couple when you were on with Jeff is started fucking weaving her own shoes for Jeff. Wow. Oh, they were for wow. Jeff. They were for Jeff, yeah, okay. because yeah. he's right. a little tenderfoot. Yeah, yeah. you know right. what I mean. Uh, like, how, yeah, how you're did no you tenderfoot. Do this? I how saw you. you. Not only did you have your shoes off up on his couch, Indian style, <laughs> but you were digging at your toes. That's the awesome! Whole time. I love that. Just, they probably right. eat I think it. I'm was I like fresh out of like, like a uh, naked and afraid <laughs> trip? I probably was. I don't know. It looked like you they were fucking hooves. They weren't feet. They are definitely hooves. Right after. Oh, oh, nice. Like, you would cure a foot <laughs> fetishist. No. Oh, Wait. no. They pay big bucks for that. They want yeah. them in mud. They want them in... They like them dirty. Oh, yeah. oh okay. But wait a Get second. Get on your YouTube. Yeah. What, what in the world made you want to do it in the first place? That's what I'm thinking. How did you go, oh, I'm naked. I'm going to be on TV. It's So it's the best, right? So I was walking home from work one day. I was living in Prescott, Arizona, and the phone rings. And they're like, hey, Eva, this is a casting agency. I don't. I don't, I'm not a Hollywood person. I don't know anything about this. And I'm like, oh, cool. And they're like, hey, we're doing a survival show. And I'm like, great. I've been teaching wilderness survival for like a decade at this point. Okay. Teaching primitive skills, taking people out into the backcountry. And they're like, we've got this great new show coming out. It's really exciting. And Have this you, is 2012-ish? Uh, Cold call. Yeah, mm, probably 2010 at that right. point. And because the show wasn't on TV. Yeah, it didn't exist. And they're like do you know who Bear Grylls is? I'm like, yeah, I've heard that guy's name. Like, They're like, well, same executive producer as Bear Grylls. Very cool. And I'm like, oh, that guy's famous. That's cool. They're like, totally legit. Discovery Channel. I'm like, awesome. Love it. And they're like, there's a catch. You're going to be naked. And I was like, shut up. Are you kidding? What kind of bullshit is that? That sounds like a joke. It sounds like a joke. <laughs> and I was like, nah, whatever. And she was like, no, really, it's going to be huge. It's it called sounds the like how they lured runaways into porn. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Totally. You're looking for the, you like, you're looking for the for white while? van that says like magazine <laughs> subscriptions. You're like, which car do I get into? You know, like, where's the free candy? <laughs> but it was like, it just was this thing because it was before the show. So they were bringing people out, screen testing, trying to figure out if it was going to work. Like, is this viable? Like, are survivalists willing to walk around naked in the middle of nowhere? And sure enough, they were. And so, like, the way it rolled out in those early days is, like, they had a whole bunch of people with, like, skill sets like mine, which is, like, legitimate, like, survive in the wilderness. Um, and, like, basically, they ran the first pilot season and put it on TV, like, the moment the humans of America saw it, like everybody freaked out, lost their shit. They called me, they're like, can you get on a plane to Africa on Friday? It was like Tuesday. And that was wow. it, game on. We had never seen the show. It was never like a thing. Like nowadays, like people who go on Naked and Afraid are like, I'm, I'm gonna survive the apocalypse because I did a like adventure race once. And you're like, N no, like, no, not really. But like back then it was like legit mm -hmm. survival people, like right, people yeah. who know how to live in the back country. I want to know how long was your flight and how many stops to get it was Madagascar. Dude, the flight to Johannesburg, South Africa is like the longest flight. 15 hours. JFK <laughs> to Joburg is like the longest flight you can take on the planet Earth, yeah. basically. And then coming back, it's even longer. So like imagine like being starving, naked, on camera, like just yeah, completely no, that's fucked. Was and it then naked they put and you afraid on and coach? Or did they, 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 oh, full coach, full oh. coach. 
Listen, think how much yeah, money they save on craft that. services. Yeah, you know They know Hollywood They're, they're not flying you any, There is well, no Also, it had to prepare you for yeah. at least I can, like, right. I can stretch out my legs. I'll be naked. There'll be bugs. <laughs> but I can stretch out my fucking legs. I Totally, totally. <laughs> well, I got back from that first flight, like that first Naked and Afraid in Madagascar, and stayed in New York for a couple weeks just to, like, be in a city where I could be anonymous. And, like, you know, I have friends there, but, like, it's not like being in Bisbee or in, like, Prescott yeah. or Flagstaff, like the places that I live now where it's mm. like you walk down the street and you know everybody. But, like, you can be in New York and be so anonymous and it's awesome. And that's all I wanted after being, like, constantly on camera the whole time. And so one of the first things I did was go get a pedicure. And, like, that poor lady. So, like, I'm fresh out of naked <laughs> and afraid. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is time for a Manny petty right? Yeah, I'm, totally. I go into some mm. salon and I'm like, okay, I just got to warn you, like, my feet are a little rough right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. The poor lady. I, I hope I tipped her, like, 100%. You know what? I always wonder about those pitch meetings. Like, who got that? Who went, so get this. We're in Africa. I got an and idea. There's, and there's everyone's <laughs> naked. And, you know, it's just crazy to me it's how crazy. they sell these ideas. Well, you said like, uh, so So you fly from uh, Joburg to Madagascar, mm -hmm. or whatever their capital is, yep. and then it's the three hours from there? Well, here's traveling. what was so cool. So the rest, the entire production team got delayed. So I flew out, I leave Phoenix or wherever I flew from, get to Madagascar, I show up and there's like, a production assistant, a driver, and a bodyguard. And they're like, hey, we're going to be hanging out for like a whole bunch of days because everybody else flying out of LA is totally delayed. So prior to doing that first Naked and Afraid, I got to like travel around Madagascar, like stay at all these cool places. Like we, everybody else had to had a rush shower. In. It was hang awesome. Hang out with the crew. <laughs> hang out with the crew. Make a friend who's going to give you a yeah. sandwich. Pass me a Snickers. <laughs> Did you yeah. ever sneak food off a fucking catering truck? Not a one. Right. No, it happened in theory during the 40 day. We did, I did the first XL yeah, season yeah. too. And there were all kinds of rumors flying around about so-and-so is stealing from craft services and no, 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 And like, so-and-so is planning a raid of like the snack bag that, you know, the, the, the sound guy has. But I don't think any of it happened. People are pretty, you take it pretty serious when you're out there, you know? Because for all the bullshit you see on television, it's a really amazing experience when you're doing it. Because you're like doing your thing, you know? Yeah, I was like, uh, the, the, the solitude that hit me that there's probably no solitude because there's always someone you kind of want solitude after a while like yes. you're filming there's a guy there but oh, isn't there also like another person or no is it just one it's you and your partner okay, so there's yeah. two people okay. and like me and my partner and my madagascar one jeff like we made a pact on day one like we're getting to the end we're doing it together we're not gonna be like fighting and bickering and was he cute like, were you happy he was naked and afraid? Or <laughs> God bless Jeff Zausch. <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> you know, I, you know. There was I, no attraction is I, what you're saying. No, you don't I, keep yeah. in touch? <laughs> I mean, every now and then I'll be like, what's up, Jeff? Or he'll be like, what's up, Eva? You know, I can't say that we're like BFFs or anything, but he's a good guy. He's yeah. a, he was like the big thing, like they're like the way they spin it, right? So there's what actually happens. And then there's the way they spin it for television right so they put the hollywood yeah. treatment on it right. and so they're like he's mormon she's a feminist they're not going to get along and that's like the <laughs> angle like that yeah, was they create the oh, yeah they like create that. the they look thing. at your resume and go yeah. okay yeah you, she, he's, he's a vegan and she worked at a fucking jimmy john's yeah. where she must have <laughs> cut roast beef how's this gonna fucking totally the flames will that, ensue oh. and we know that's yeah. what they do that is oh, they yeah. totally do yeah. and like uh -huh. it's, it's so funny to watch it because like they'll be like like you'll like some guy's got a camera on you. You'll stub your toe, and there's like a cutaway of your face, and you're like, "Ow!" And they're like, "Eva and Jeff hate each other and didn't speak for the rest of the day." And you're like, "No, <laughs> I stubbed my toe. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. you." I, was it? Was there ever a point where they they took something uh, uh, you had said uh, uh, somewhere else, completely out of context, and put it into another scene, but they don't show your face? So oh. You, it looks like you're saying it right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Ew. Like our entire episode is that to the point. I mean, like, I think like all the terms of my contract are long gone. So I think I can say this stuff in public now, but like, it's like pretty much like 
like what actually happens and what happens on TV are two completely different stories. Like they say, like we burned down our cave and like we burned our snakes. I'm like, you trust me to survive naked in the middle of nowhere for a month and you think I'm going to burn a fucking snake? I'm going to eat that shit, which is exactly what we did. So you watch oh, so the you show. Didn't be, uh, the, we didn't burn the fucking snake. No, man. I was wondering. I, well, when I read that somewhere, no. I didn't even see that yeah. part. Totally. I read it and I go, how do you burn a snake how to do you the point burn it's inedible is what, it, no. what I read. It's just, it's just. Oh, this fucking Reddit. Oh my God. Oh God, I bet. (laughs) Yeah. There's actually, there's a couple of real gems. And it's like, you know, sometimes when it first, like the first one, when it first came out, people were like so fascinated by the show that it was fine. And maybe the internet wasn't as angry back then because it was like 10 years ago. Yeah. But then as time progressed, like the internet got angrier and angrier and people get like more and more savage. Yep. And they're like, I'm going to come to your house and murder you because you killed that snake and ate it. And you're like, whoa, guy. (laughs) Like, or maybe you should like maybe find a therapist or something because that sounds like a better idea. Yeah. Like, it looks like, you know what? if you're that kind of crazy, my address is 212 (laughs) Van Dyke Street, Bisbee, Arizona, 85603. I feel like if you Don't go after her. Come over here. Yeah. Go make a I totally <laughs> think that you. if you had a contract oh. and you sign that uh, any, uh, what's it called NDA. when they do, no, when they do another thing off of it and you get to keep part of it, uh, a, uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, any, oh God, what is it called? Ancillary. Like, okay, so like the, residuals. Has, Anytime no, they not use residuals. Your... But, yeah, if they oh. do that, then you get, so I feel like you need to do naked and afraid psychiatrists. And you should own that right now. I love that. This. Yeah. Hold that, on. Yeah. I'm buying the domain right now. Yeah, buy it right now because, you know, that I feel like you should own that. That that happened to you. <laughs> so I think about this kind of thing all the time, right? Like you're in the hospitality business. I'm right. in the hospitality business. The people who like or like anybody who's ever owned a restaurant or a bar or done anything in the public eye, people get on your Yelp and they're like, one star. Like yep. Gretchen looks better with blue eyeliner on. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, and they're like, stupid. what? Where did you pull that shit out of your ass? Yeah. And like, they just and you, say evil and you things get for the, no reason. And you get the blame. You get like, the blame. It's like a restaurant, and they're like, Gretchen, I came in there, and someone was served a beer, and they wouldn't give me one. And it's like they blame you. They blame I'm you. Like, it's yeah. your fault. Yeah, I'm like, well, and our, <laughs> our liquor license was temporary because I failed to get it, but I was there, and I actually had it in my hand, but... My staff couldn't Stupid. give it to you. And, uh, yeah, uh, they bar, you. bar rescue is my guilty hate pleasure. Ooh. And they're just so blatant about where you can, It sounds like you. Uh, we're talking about like they cut in John Taffer saying this, which you know he didn't say till after the fact. You should probably yell at that point, but we'll just have the back <laughs> of your head as a cutaway and you can't see. But there was one the other day where they, they, they're cockroaches. They're, they're doing the surveillance of the bar and they go... <laughs> And then there's cockroaches, which I've seen a bunch of times where I go, I know they planted that. But this time, like, because you get, like, you use like B-roll. Nat Geo stock footage. The, like, the, B, the B roll on Naked and Afraid oh, is like, right. all right, that fucking that jaguar. That, yeah, you know, almost extinct. Right. Spotted leopard. It's no way. It's right. a different film quality. Totally. It's like not anywhere near. It's hilarious. It's, it is what it is, you know? And, like, it's hard. you got to remember, like, same thing. Like, we'll get reviews at the motel. It'll be like, stayed in a motel room, had only one bed, one star. Like, and yeah. you're like, well, you got a hotel. <laughs> yeah. You ordered you one with one bed. It. Yeah, you clicked like, on you it. You could have got the one with two beds. Why didn't you get that one if you wanted two beds, you know? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. It's I, I'm the same. Like, at my house at the airport, people are like, it was very far out. I'm like, oh, my God. Right. It says that on there to dock so me because stupid. Just, uh, yeah, just stupid so you know, that you uh, booked. She yeah. uh, uh, owns the John Quill Motel in uh, Old Bisbee, and she has, do you have, are both of your places Airbnbs? Yeah, the, the no, I have, I have several. House. Greenway, Manor. Oh, and what do you call the yeah, airport, the airport house? You guys yeah, were the airport house is awesome. I, I know. Bought that. I, know. Shit. That I know. You know awesome. what? Good for me that you guys were worried about your puppy's feet because the, I just the, the fucking birds sprayed. Out there were, and that's so the I, yeah, though. and and I got it. And, and now you're the jealous. Like scorpions? And, 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 is that what it's paid for? No. You know those like prickly, yeah, like the little things yeah. that go in their feet. Well, it had yeah. a lot, but me. Yeah, the septic tank. I know the septic. It was fine. So it's been fine. Us, I never had a problem. Fine. But why? Because you got to pump it. They didn't yeah, want to I, buy I, I, it I'm, I'm, because they're puppies. They're like the those prickly things the, are good. I'm like, you know what I did? Steps, you know, 
Yeah, oh. but guess what I did? I sprayed, and now I scored because I don't have those, and you guys totally <laughs> lost out on it. <laughs> oh, that's so that great. house is awesome. That place that's... is awesome. Yeah. I, I need to know that when I poop, it goes away. <laughs> so, 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 All the so, way to so, knock yeah. yeah. Which, <laughs> I'm naked <laughs> and afraid. But it's a leech field, isn't it? That that's would have been airport. naked and afraid for yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be. <laughs> I want you two to be on so bad as a team. That oh my would be God, so do it. No. <laughs> we have I'll be zero your field skill. producer. What, but would you be zero naked? Skill. Would you naked? Be naked? I don't give a shit if someone sees what? my naked ass. Okay, this what about edition. you? Would you be naked? <laughs> well, uh, we it's have not, no skill not, whatsoever. Not because of the shame of the. Like, and we're uh, grotesque. No, the, the oh. discomfort. Like, I don't oh, know yeah. no problem like uh, pulling my dick out on stage to make people upset. Uh, <laughs> you got five bucks. You got to get from the hitching wait. post to Elmo's. No, that's, <laughs> that's what I wanted to talk to you. Uh, uh, that's what I wanted to pitch is Naked and, a, naked and Afraid Urban Edition. It's huge. It could be where, huge. Uh, like you go, you're in a city that doesn't speak English. Ooh, that uh, is interesting. Where nudity is definitely an issue. Oh you're right. going to be like so, stoned to so, death. So like so we're talking about in like public. That Mexico, is dangerous. Uh, yeah, all the yeah. Catholic countries yes. that we would want to do it in. That might be yeah. more Some, dangerous. Yeah, someplace maybe Eastern European where the, the chances of anyone speaking English. So you can't ask, you can't ever put on clothes. Nope. You could hide yourself behind someone. Yeah, like in a bush. <laughs> like if you're trying to run into a 7-Eleven to shoplift to eat, you could like someone, hey, their kid's coming with a, a kid who's about genital height. I'll hide behind him so they don't notice. That reminds me of Austin Powers. Remember that scene where they were, it. oh my God, it's so funny. Where uh, oh his, he's got yeah, like he's yeah, putting like things in yeah like like teapots, he's got like a melon and yeah, a me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that was a very funny scene yeah, yeah. but the, I think your concept for the biz being naked and afraid is a very good mm -hmm. idea well, and if I you bet remember, you there was a time uh, the, uh, some uh, what's a, the grand. Yeah. Some drunk, local, regular oh, yeah. drunk yeah, yeah. who had fucking hated tourists and he hated the ghost tour especially. The ghost tour is going by. So he went out and fucking mooned him. And they arrested him. No. And they were going to like make, uh, charge him as a sex offender. Oh. They were going to like charges where he would have to register because Damn. there were kids on the tour and they saw his oh, ass. Shit. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't uh, do that. Well, I feel like we should put this together, you guys. Naked and Afraid Bisbee. Oh, we'll make sure there's no kids. <laughs> I think you two should It's Bisbee. Should be. There's no kids here. The average age is like 65 in this time. Yeah. <laughs> there are some kids. There definitely are. But I just think that would be so funny that if we could pull up a Naked and Afraid. <laughs> yeah, you have to set the rules. That, it would be very tough because we know people. Well, you know, I'm running yeah. for mayor, so I'll set Oh, that's going to be your yeah. campaign uh, strategy. That's, yep, that's I'm going to be uh, naked and afraid. <laughs> is is, you just need a uh, pixelated gonna, bikini. I've thought about this yeah. often. Like Would you just you, get like a flesh toned pixelated bikini. Yeah. I, no, had, I, I had that in my list of uh, stupid <laughs> questions. That would almost be worse. I don't know. I, I had that in my list of stupid questions yesterday. Was uh, would you do the? Would you do the same show if they only showed? Your breasts and vagina and blurred and out else. the rest. Of it. <laughs> wait, wait, it's awesome. just, it, I that, love that. Just, isn't that a dating show on one of the uh, networks? Oh, you're just like blurred. Wait, that's my <laughs> show. Yeah. I love that. I think show. there's a show yeah, on DNA no, no, no. I think there's a new show. I don't remember the name of it. Where I love uh, that show. People, the British, yeah, where, uh, it, yeah, where they it's, don't show people's uh, faces, and you have to pick your date. Uh, you just like uh, put a bag. You know what I'm talking I'm about? I'm shit with anybody who will come to my house, which is no one but my cat. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking <laughs> yes, about, right? I watch all time. Yeah, like there, I, I, it's I've crazy. Never seen it. No, but there's it's a new wonderful. show. Yeah, I don't show your it's face. Not, no, it's a dating. It's not it's naked. Yeah. And it's not an outdoor survival. Oh. Thing. No, you have, do you have clothes on? You have clothes on, or no, like no, you, you just have a bag. You're just naked. You're picking people, and you have a bag but, over your yep, head. Yep, yep. Pretty much. No, no, no. That's great. They they slowly show you the person. 
and then they go, okay, here's their genitals. I and love then they it. Go up and so here's their fun. body, and then you do that in Europe. I watch it with my cat. It's British. <laughs> it's British. British wow. and it's on Netflix. Okay. Yeah. The Netflix. guys okay. are like, give me a really big blur. I need a really big blur, like a blur below my <laughs> knees. No, but it's not blurred. It's you can see it. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. And you That's have to awesome. Pick, what channel is this on? It's Netflix. You said Netflix. Five, right? I'm channel not sure. five. Another channel. Yeah. PBS. I. You know, I'm just never. I'd never be secure enough to that like what i don't want my genitals under any circumstances like judged ever <laughs> like, i don't you don't even know like I, when you're on the naked and afraid like it's like weird for the first two minutes and then you just don't even realize it really? do you ever like spread eagle and they have it at, or no i'm sure i'm a woman who picks my toes and during a <laughs> podcast so of course oh, yeah, you I can't even that. imagine I haven't like that. digging <laughs> like digging at it there's like, no, like you got like in you, there girl like you that's awesome yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was <laughs> and i noticed that you just you touched you got oh awesome did i like get some crust out of there and like flick oh, it yeah, out yeah, oh, 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 yeah i'm so about to i love that it right now this is like no no I love that. Gross. Um, here, i'll bring this shit over there we go uh you drink a wine or mimosa a... Ooh, me wine? oh i'm drinking wine you after go. we yeah, you know okay. all right table. i'm gonna sit down on the table <laughs> yeah like I, the... I i'm just so intrigued on how you just we're like, this sounds fun. I can't wait to show my ass and my vagina and my boobs for the world to see. Like, I'd be like, no, no thanks. The, the first, yeah. uh, <laughs> the second podcast we ever did was uh, a friend of mine that had just gotten out of a, a prison. Uh, prison? In, <laughs> yeah, uh, I knew you were going to say in that. In Brazil. He was smuggling coke, <laughs> one of those Midnight Express stories, and he spent <laughs> several years in a, a Brazilian prison. Jesus. That's survival and, uh, right there. Yeah. Holy yeah. God. That can't <laughs> it, even compare to your naked no. and afraid. No, no, it was actually... Uh, uh, Super we, chill? Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm like, you're making this sound like fucking meatballs, too. It's like, <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, you know, one time I had a bunk mate that, on the bunk on top of me that would jerk off occasionally and wake me up, and I'm like, can you do that when I'm not here? <laughs> and I'm like, that's like, one of his see. hardest stories. Like, he goes, yeah, it's pretty... But I said that my biggest fear would be no toilet paper. <laughs> that would be bad. Like, yeah. Did what they it, film you taking a dump? Like, that would be, that's well, the only time I get I don't know I if it fucking... ever makes it to TV, though. Like, because they, yeah, I don't, I don't like, But they film you, like. There's cameras all the time. Yeah. I mean, but are they even taking a shit? Are they I, looking in there? Are they, I don't, like, I mean, like, that's a solid poop. Nice yeah. job. How do they mother? talk to you? Well, here's the thing. You're not eating much, so you're not pooping much. Oh. It's kind of how it works. Oh, yeah. Like, you only poop, like, I don't know, a few times. Oh. Wow. But it's I nice. never thought of that. Yeah. 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 Uh, I like that concept. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I would want everyone to know and to film. I'd be like, hey, it's pooping. Get in here. <laughs> it is pretty, it's pretty awesome. I mean, there's kind of a lot of really nice things about it. Like, like what? Like, I can't imagine. You <laughs> don't have to deal with emails or bullshit or okay, your phone I get that. ringing. No, like, I love that. Like, yep. life is really simple and it's mm. weird. Like, you get back into the real world. And it's like culture shock. You're just like, yeah. like, and so much of the shit that we like worry about so much totally does not matter. You know what I mean? Like you're all worried about, I don't know, whatever, like writing back to this guy or dealing with this thing. And it's like when like your world is stripped down to just like surviving yeah. all of the crap that we spend all our time worrying about and stressing about and dealing with, you just realize how little most of this matters. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's fun. It's nice. It's luxurious. Like, I like to be warm. I like toilet paper, too. But, like... <laughs> What's the worst day you ever had? Like, what happened that was so bad that you were like, did I just agree to do this? Like, what... Oh, God, that's a really good question. I don't know. I think I'm probably still... That's why I'm going to be mayor. I have good questions. It is really <laughs> true. Well, I also kind of feel like I'm... Like, I think you carry around, like, some kind of PTSD from it because it's kind of traumatic. I can't Like, imagine. you're walking around asking naked <laughs> surviving and like it's one thing to be alone in the wilderness by yourself surviving but it's totally different when there's a camera crew there like paying attention to it because they fuck yeah. everything up they mess up the entire flow of being out in the back country like like all the animals are like we're out catch you later because they don't want to be there because all these mm -hmm crew people who like mm -hmm. you know what smell like axe deodorant spray are like walking around scaring the animals off and like it, it's real i don't know i mean like i don't know if there's like a worse day 
What's the word? But there has to be one where you were like, wow, what did I sign up for here? You know, I remember this one day during um, the XL where it was like a forced march. Like we basically had to leave this sweet campsite that we were at. It was like gorgeous. Like you barely even see it in the TV show because it was so nice. Yeah. No, no, this is in the XL one. We were in Columbia. And so like we're in this awesome spot. There's mangoes. There's like this giant like freshwater stream to swim in and catch fish. Before you keep going, uh, how much of this do you think is like, cause they give you a map and stuff. How much do you think they go, okay, that will definitely stumble on this if we put it between point A and point B. It's So that's interesting because like the 40 day one is a lot more convoluted. Like there's a lot more like, you know, the hand of God like comes eight in. eight people on it, right? Yeah, I think it starts with eight or 10, eight or, 10 or 12. Yeah, might be 12. You start with a whole bunch of people and you end up with a whole lot less. It's kind of how the the XL yeah. one works. And so, like, for the original Madagascar one that I did, it was still so new back then, they didn't have the psychology figured out. So it just mm. felt really raw and, like, interesting. You know, it was cool. Like, that one was really, they're all really cool. Like, How many have you done? I've done three, wow. so like 75 total naked and afraid days under my belt. Wow. Not all at once, in three separate okay, what, I don't even have 75 the first naked one? days, period, in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like clothes, all afraid. Yeah. <laughs> the, the first Spider one was in the shower, ah, naked and afraid. <laughs> the first one was season two, so that's way back. Way, way back. Uh, and then the XL, so what's the third one? Shark Week. No, oh, shit. Right. Yeah, Shark Week. and. That was a Shark Week. You know, Discovery, their biggest show is Shark Sharknado. Week. Sharknado. Yes, yep. Sharknado. Yep. And so, like, like they did a Naked and Afraid Shark Week edition. And so we went to the Bahamas. There were sharks. Ooh, scary. <laughs> it actually Bahamas. is kind of intense. It was intense. Like, the sharks are intense. And, like, they were out there, like, chumming the water to get the sharks in because they've spent all this money on, like, underwater yeah. shark teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, they're out there chumming the water. And then, like, the mean sharks, the bull sharks that like basically just kill for fun, start rolling in. And like, it was hairy a couple times, you All right, know? So they're not, cause I went to a uh, Shark Ray Alley as a, a tourist thing in Belize. <laughs> I, I didn't go on my own accord. I'm like, all right, fucking it. This is dumb. But, Were you naked and on your period? Cause that's when it no, gets real scary. <laughs> no, I might've been bleeding from the ass from all the drinking. <laughs> and that ceviche is always suspect. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they, they they take you to a spot where they're, Eels and rays and sharks are trained, okay, at you know, 2, 4, and 6 p.m., a guy's going to come and give us free food. So they're right. all docile. Yes. Uh, yeah. And they ain't hungry. Totally. <laughs> totally. Uh, so I, is that, do you think that's no, what they... No. They, these, like, these were crazy sharks. Like, there was, like, it was really cool because, like, it was all, like, the shark professionals. Like, people who, like, their job is, like, doing whatever they do with sharks. And so we're in the Bahamas, like they've thrown like some meat or whatever in the water and the sharks start coming in so they can get the good footage. And like, they're like chill sharks who don't care if you're there. And I'm like, I grew up in Connecticut. That's kind of near the water, but I don't like go to the water that much. And then I moved to Arizona. Like I live in the desert now. Like we're so far from water. Like it's just not really like part of my experience. And so, like, they, they Your start, like... Your feet were all clean from it? it was, <laughs> you know what to do. I know, I know. Exfoliated from being in the sand. Yeah. Bad. I know. I was really out of my element. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after that Madagascar, your pussy could have chummed the waters all on its own. Oh, my God. I'm so... I'm so... I'm so gross. Um, so, so, Ten years later, still chumming the water. You know, I don't... In a shark tank in Australia, in uh, Noosa, there's a do you, in Brisbane. There's a what, and they will let you if you're famous. And I wasn't, but my ex-husband was. So they'll let you dive in that shark tank. So they keep the water. I can't remember if it's either a little warmer, or a little colder, but something slows them down. And so you, we got in there and dived. So I was going to ask you, were you like a Diver? Do you have your credentials? Like I have my no. uh, saving, life-saving no. diver credentials. No, swimming to me is like sitting in a pool, being like, "Toss me a beer." Like that's swimming wow. for me. So, like so it's good. in the water with those sharks, and yes. you're a diver. No, or no skills. No, wow. no skills. And Wait, that was so, you're, so you're that was my character. And you're not in a cage. You're not you in have a cage. To swim. They're like they put you on an island, and they're like, okay. 
at some point you have to get off the island. So we like built a raft and like paddled our little naked booties off the island, off to the next island and got rescued. But like, I mean, there was like legit sharks in the water. They gave us like a pair of goggles to share and some fins to share, which was cool. That was nice of them. Is this the Mormon guy or is this no, a different, different guy? No, oh, okay. different crew. Different crew. Different other people. Here's a dumb question. I bet every comic watching this would want to know. When when you have the thing where uh, uh, Naked and Afraid, where you can bring your one thing. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I want to know. What did you bring? A knife. It's not that exciting. Yeah, but like, did they the... limit you? Because I would every time we would binge watch that no. dumb show, uh, I would come up with another stupid thing like, Wait, you, you really you brought a you know, iPod or, or whatever? Like, uh, I, I did never suggest a iPod. bottle of bourbon. I always thought that would be good. Like the 40-day one, I went in thinking like, okay, 40 days, I can probably let some stuff sit out, get kind of fermenty, maybe make some hooch while we're out there. I thought it could have been a good trade commodity with the crew, but it did, <laughs> that didn't end up working out. <laughs> That's good. It never really happened. So I don't know. I just like wove some more shoes and cried a lot. I don't know. Wow. I wonder if that would be like (laughs) in the Me Too era. Like if you were a guy with a camera and a sandwich (laughs) working naked and afraid. And you go, well, you obviously held a position of power over her when you had her give you oral sex. You can say it was consensual, (laughs) but you can't really say that when you're a guy with a camera and a sandwich and the lady's nothing but a sea of rashes and bug bites (laughs) and hasn't eaten anything but a lizard's tail. And toes, the toes toes alone. I mean, you don't know how to you water. <laughs> wow, I just I admire that you did that. I just can't fathom ever doing something like that. Like that's so brave and but, hard. But you've gone yes, on Gretchen. from that. <laughs> that's so sweet. I First of all, that. did you it's ever really were you ever like uh, naked and afraid just for fun? And why don't you think that this show that's in its like 55th fucking season, how come it hasn't no. spurred on other people to just, just without cameras, just to go, go out just and, go. and try to survive? I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Over that hill right, right there totally. is complete fucking wasteland. Totally. Go spend three weeks naked out there. Right. And right. Why not? Stab Ava, it. I've got your next thing okay. besides Bernarella. Okay. It has to be naked and afraid at the John Quill. Okay. Yeah. Don't you think? Don't That's tell my so insurance so, agent this. They're going to yeah. like lose their shit. You're going to be like, what? That's a natural progression that you should have naked, like naked and afraid. afraid weekend? Yep. Yep. Like you naked just show up? weekend, yep. At the John Quill and you have to uh, do the guidelines that you had. And I mean, you're and you just kind of, spend the weekend. Yes, don't you think? But then, how are they going to go drink in town? Like, I feel like they're going to get picked up by the cops. Well, well, well you don't let them go. Then they you just stay in the backyard and survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you guys you, want to room like, with the John like, that weekend? Like you just said the. <laughs> you tell them here's the materials to make your own. Oh my God, so booze, cute! <laughs> but you can't leave because you'll get arrested. You have to stay here on the John Quill for the naked and afraid. Uh-huh. Yeah, Bonus like points if it. you can steal a bag of Fritos out of the circle k yeah between 2 and 4 a.m <laughs> i like it that's good. Well, you're, i mean you have missed so many marketing opportunities I know. with being on tv and having this <laughs> naked and afraid you know i know um, street did cred. you uh, did you um uh, uh tidy up for the show going in good question so, so uh Ding dong. Oh, down or there. did you make sure you were full Willie Nelson so <laughs> people didn't see you letting yourself go over 21 days? Yeah. Right. Like, I would have colored my like hair. Like, why, why, is, why is her, like, <laughs> southern blur getting darker and darker as time goes on? Yeah. We just like to keep the lady bits neat and tidy, you know? Right. Although, I couldn't you see, like, couldn't you see, like, going full 70s bush to, like, kind of help protect keeping the creepy crawlies out of your lady bits? Uh, I think uh, yeah. that, like, I think that would be the way to do it. More. I think so what did you do? What did you do? What did I do? Yeah. What? Did you did you, did you, did, you oh. did you go in shaved or did you go in oh, no. full full perm? Did no, you go in that? <laughs> no, yeah. no. I keep no. I'm kind of like a Brazilian landing strip kind of combo, so they just kind of roll steady with that. Oh, it's right. been pretty standard issue for yeah. the last twenty no, years. Here's so. what I would not change for survival my purposes. Hair extensions. If I had the one, <laughs> <laughs> one thing, that's, that's the instead one of a knife thing. or matches, no, no. I would have brought my hair extensions. <laughs> I would have made sure the day before I went that my gray hair was colored. Oh my god, you're so, so cute. So that I could, you know, 
what is it? How long were you there? <laughs> 21 or okay. 40 days. So you it take your been, pick. The gray wouldn't have been that bad in 20 days. So I'd have had my You're hair so extensions. Cute. And I'd have been. I have a. <laughs> She'd do full extensions. Knee or ankle. Right. <laughs> I, I knew a guy that did, uh, uh, hey, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Which is like the lightest version of Naked and Afraid. Okay. Right. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, what ranking. was the Joe Rogan show? Uh, Fear Factor. Fear fa so it's a oh, combo they're like of Fear Factor, but light. Okay, like I never said. watched <laughs> it, but he was on it, and he uh, he got knocked out early when he's a, a, a baseball. John Rocker. Uh, oh. said, is this like for like C-list celebrities like me? Because uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, well, I'm looking John for Rocker work. If anybody's a, out there looking for work, <laughs> what, what we're going to get to that next. <laughs> the, uh, the blues he, band. Uh, he was an Atlanta uh, Braves pitcher. Oh, they based that show Eastbound and Down on him, but without him getting any fucking money for it. Mm -hmm. Like Eastbound and Hollywood. Down with Danny Danny Powers. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> so he's on this show and he gets knocked off. But on a lot of these betting sites, and you know where we're going next, uh, a lot of these betting sites have like uh, prop bets for, hey, who's going to win Dancing with the Stars? And so they had bets for that on this one betting site. So he had his friend bet all his money because he knows how it ends because he was on the fucking show, but oh, it hasn't shit. aired. And he uh -oh. goes, it was, yeah. you, they limit those bets for this reason. <laughs> right. He won like $2,500. Whoa, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. That's more than I'll you get paid it. for Naked and Afraid. And uh, excuse me, this always annoying part of the podcast, but hey, uh, Listen, our friends at DraftKings, ladies and gentlemen, right now, new customers uh, going to DraftKings. You can bet $5 and win up to $150 in uh, bonus bets by going to DraftKings. Uh, get the DraftKings app. Use code Stanhope right now. That's right. We got the Download the DraftKings app and uh, bet $5 to win up to $150. Uh, do you bet on sports at all? You're, you're I'm an about athlete. to start. You're I'm an about athlete. to start. Yes. I never right, have before. I'm, I am right now. Where's my phone? Get Mark's the app. Mania is starting. <laughs> I don't know if that's like uh, you can't say the Super Bowl, but uh, the mm -hmm. March Mania instead of what it's usually called is in the ad copy. Anyway, new customers download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Bet $5 on any college basketball game to win up to $150 in uh, 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 bonus bets. And here's that garbly thing where they talk about all the, uh, it must be 18, boy, and hit that. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Or in West Virginia, visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over. Age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.co slash bball for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. And we're back. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's fun. Uh, I don't really even good. know anything about that. I don't like, know. I feel like we should I don't bet know. on us I'm gonna start, right now. Yeah, like, I'm betting on Gretchen for mayor. <laughs> Woo! I'm so excited. You're doing you know, it. I am. Ken I Budge is back in the running. I know. Did you hear? Yep. That's, he's good. He he's your competition. Yeah. No, the rest of the people are non nothing. But uh, <laughs> no, I got in because I didn't like a person that was running. I didn't feel like he should run. I'm like, if he can run, I can run. And um, so, for the record, uh, that person. Uh, I'm I, not saying who he is. I, yeah, I, I don't, but I, yeah, I, I just I know say. there's a lot of good friends of mine that uh, speak highly of that person, and so uh, if you I, are local, I don't know. I, that's why I, I, didn't, Gates I didn't say so anybody's bullshit, name. Can't get in. I didn't say anybody's name. I'm nope, just nope, telling nope. you. I know people that are like worried that you'd say bad things about the guy, and I don't uh. know. I'm not going to say, I, I, you yeah. know, I've been we'll in Hollywood this for too afterwards. long. Yeah, this yeah is the, no, I, I've been in Hollywood too. I get it. Like, you don't, I'm not going to say anything. I'm so, going to say there was someone I thought shouldn't run, and I decided to run. That's okay, it. Okay, let me ask you this, uh, yes. because it involves her too. If, because uh, uh, you obviously want to have a reality show 
you, about anything. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that, but you know, I am a businesswoman. I know. And, yeah, I'm not and, downing you. Yeah. Well, You've you been shouldn't. very open about that since yeah. I first met you. Yeah, no, what no, a goddamn no, no. reality show. I'm, I am totally fixing about... Fixing up the Greenway House. That's, uh, right? Well, fixing up the Greenway this House. This is a little bit uh, more, more at stake is running for mayor I this know. But you know what? I know what I can bring is probably good. And what I don't know, that's the thing about me. I'm smart enough to know that I don't know enough. And I'm smart enough to know that it's going to be like a co-op of a mayor. And I'm going to bring all these people that know to help. Me, Eva, so. Eva, I think you should Eva go straight for never, president. Uh, 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 <laughs> Can we just? Eva would never spend twenty-one days in the jungle naked if there was not a camera crew and an audience at the end of the day. <laughs> would you run for mayor? I'm asking you the tough questions Ooh, okay. now. Would Ooh. you run for mayor if there's no reality show involved? I totally yes. Because here's the there's thing: still a, I was only going. For ego there. I was only going to do it. If our show went because I thought it's interesting and people don't know what it entails to run for mayor. I don't. So I'm like, mm. well, you know what? It's a learning experience for me because I would like to do it in the future. I wasn't prepared to do it now. But when I saw that someone was running, then I'm like, oh, if he can run, I should run. And that's what I decided to do. So I would do it at this point in time for that reason. I will. Yeah. I will be on your reality show uh, just to make it as silly as possible. Yes. And, um, but yeah, no. I'm. I'm always. Wait. About, are you making a reality show? She's I'm trying. Saying, yeah. Yeah. You know she what? What's it called? Nice. Small Town Mayor. Is that the like? What's the name? That, no, but it will be a uh, definitely a storyline because I've been pitching it as. Bisbee is the island of misfit toys. There's so many great people here. Here is a segment of an oh, idea. You've got to talk about the awful people if you want to sell reality. We need conflict. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I feel like you just get that. Like I think. Well, when, I'll be your bad guy. Okay, you be the first bad off, guy. First yeah, but no, your your question and yes, I wasn't planning on running this soon. I did want to run, and I know you would want to run. Well, I figure I I'll do felt, city council, but I travel too much for work right now, so I yeah. need to like be a little more settled down. But I'm like, well, if you just wait a few years, Gretchen, I'll be on city council yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, but I I felt like. This is what I should do at this time because I felt the person that was running, I felt if you can run, I can run. And so that's what I did. And now I'm getting signatures and I have a lot and I can bring a lot of attention to Bisbee. That's like my expertise. I know people with money, maybe I can help them buy the stock exchange and now the Copper Queen's for sale. So, uh, and then I know people that know everything about coding and zoning because I don't. Well, you also have uh, you, uh, have successful businesses with the Airbnbs mm -hmm. and you know Cafe what? Cornucopia. I came here by myself, and I have grown an amazing Airbnb with Greenway. We've tripled the sales of Cornucopia, so much so that we're going into Sierra Vista now. We're going to roll out another location. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um Oh, so, don't, don't, you know, don't, I'm not don't, dumb. don't go the Bisbee Breakfast Club way. Wanna, <laughs> That's wanna, Bisbee's biggest output right now. It used to be copper, now it's breakfast. Yes. It's uh, a, big. And the fuck, oh, this is going to, I want to do, do I want to do, um, as we just <laughs> talked about, I want to stay in a different hotel every night to just see and drink in a different bar. I think bar. you should. I but think I your do opinion one, would mean the, a lot to people. Yeah, YouTube but the backhanded one I would do is, uh, I'm going to do the, um, Bisbee tour of places to go if you never want to run into a local. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That'll be so fun. That'll be fun. I won't say any names right now, but yeah, there's a <laughs> and, breakfast club. And, and uh -huh. where that's would the you one. Go? Uh -huh. Where that, would you that, go? It would you, start oh, at the fucking breakfast this, club. Okay, and this okay. is why uh, the fucking shirt that they have that says Bisbee mm -hmm. Breakfast Club, often copied, never duplicated. <laughs> That means the same fucking thing. <laughs> what you're doing is stealing a cliched hackneyed expression, which is often imitated, never duplicated. That's what you're trying to say. Right. So what you're trying to do is duplicate a cliche. But don't you love it? Okay, but you got it wrong. So great. Now you yes. have two That's words that mean Bisbee, the same though. thing. Yeah. But wait, I'm not fucking dumb lady at the Bisbee Breakfast Company. <laughs> Often copied. Don't you have five locations through the state? 
Are those copies or duplications? <laughs> <laughs> so they're not as good as the yeah, you know, I I, I've, I've never eaten at another one, so I don't know if it's duplicated or copied. Do they wear the not. same shirt? Do they I wear a know. duplication or a copy of that shirt? <laughs> you fucking morons! I can't even. I uh, don't yeah, like. I don't know. Yeah, that's the question. Garbage, fucking. <laughs> Keep, that's why we made the Keep Warren Boring <laughs> stickers, because Keep Bisbee Weird is a fucking hackneyed cliche. If people don't know what hackneyed means, hackneyed means just tired tropish. It's misused commonly as bad. Or use a hack comic. You no, know, a hack means someone who just does... All right. So this that's, is great. That's why I want to do that. That's good. I want to do a, a, like a, the tour of... Yo, uh, I think uh -huh. it's good. I think it's such a good idea. And people trust your judgment. And that's why you should Were you do it. You expecting you do. company? No. Like oh, Suzanne yeah. was coming. Yeah. Yeah, she, has some, she has some uh, some talk about uh, campaign talk she wanted to have with you. And I told her three o'clock, but she's late. Yeah. Well, you know, I know she was like very concerned for me. But I'm like, you know, when you have a worldwide TV show and the world just comes down at you, think anyone in Bisbee saying shit about me is going to bother me? No. Yeah. This no. Is, let's and save you know the what? mayor talk yeah. for another yeah. podcast. But, yeah. but my, my, my intentions are good. That's all yeah, I want to yeah, say. Well, like, and you're yeah. a good, kind person and you're good yeah. at business. And I think those are all really important things. Yes, so. but. Yeah, and, uh, nice. uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. This is about can you just get like a head-to-head -head mayor? Can you get all of the Bisbee mayoral candidates on for I every time? Can you so do fun. that? I think you should. We we, we did. Uh, well, there used to be people running. People ran for city council. We would decide whose name we're going to put up on the, the yeah. deck yeah. on a banner. Yeah, and get, but you know And why? now no one even runs. No, and you know why? Because people have skeletons and people that could be good don't want to put their family through that. You know, that's uh, a thing that I when you, yeah. The people when don't want to get run, shit at Safeway yeah. for $400 a month. That's what it <laughs> is. That's what the mayor makes here, 400 bucks a month. Everyone Which says, I'm why don't you run? Back. Because not it's not that funny. It. Oh, he's the mayor of a <laughs> town that now. Yeah. That's not funny. No. Not no. for <laughs> two years of fucking someone flicking your shit at the fuck. I'm trying to find <laughs> discount me just like you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the discount <laughs> fish section. Do you know? When you're buying it's discount one tilapia, day. it's not a time that someone wants to, you want to hear Mr. Mayor. <laughs> yes. I don't want to hear uh, <laughs> Safeway. That's so ever, safe way. That like, is so never, our safe ever, way in a yeah. nutshell. It's like one yeah. day expired tilapia. I'm like, the mm. fish section is <laughs> I know, but you know. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's get back to this. Well, yeah. What what wouldn't you eat? Because I know you said discount like, tilapia. Oh, <laughs> but you eat crickets. Wow. I eat crickets. How did it feel to be? Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, when you uh, appropriation, cultural appropriating the homeless for money. <laughs> How did that feel? That's amazing. I love it. Did <laughs> you ever talk down to homeless people that you just need and go, fun? oh, really? The guy who sits in the Safeway parking lot with the wounded warrior in yeah. the trunk of his reliable <laughs> automobile yep. in the handicap spot, and he just has wounded warrior as his sign. And doesn't say give me money, just right. you assume. But you but, know what he told me today? He said, I sit here till I get $75. That's what it cost me for my hotel room. So that's what he told Hotel me today. Hotel room? Yes. Wow. He said, I sit here huh. every day till I get $75. He was there earlier. Yeah. yeah I he was there today? Yes. We have He's the richest already. homeless people in the yeah. world in yes. this country. So do you ever look at a fucking that guy and go, I ate crickets. Right. <laughs> And You're those right. were the good bugs. The world is your oyster, my friend. <laughs> I've just go out into those backwoods. She's compared over there. crickets to those are pretty good. They're like popcorn. Yeah, you just toss them up. Bugs. It's good. It's good. It's good. High protein is very big in the paleo community to eat crickets. It's very big. <laughs> High protein, you know. Don't have to sit on the trunk of your car with a cardboard sign. Is just there stuff the that you didn't eat on the show? Yeah, I don't eat stuff just like for sensation. Well, I know. Like, I got fucking goddamn shrimp I bought before I found out you're uh, allergic. allergic to shellfish. <laughs> No. You guys did your research. Help yourself, Suzanne. You did your the, research. Uh, I know. Yeah. I am allergic well, to shellfish. Uh, well, I'm an hour late. You know, 
Uh, I, uh, I would just like to say for the record, they did no research on what I might like. They only tried you're, to find you're out. The, do you want to you're, do you're the hair. friend. You're yeah. the friend on this one. Yes. Suzanne Walsh was the friend when we talked to you. Yes. I, I, I oh, look at you. Do. And then I found out she's yeah. a fucking chatterbox all, all, all on her own. She's so oh, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, yep. I'm a talker. Forget yeah, it. Yeah, I remember yep. Yeah, but you know, I just can't believe, I, I just am so intrigued, like everyone, like what would make you just go, oh, I'm going to be naked on TV and the world's going to see me. Doesn't it just seem like a good idea? Like no, how do you say no to that? It seems like the worst idea. It just, it just really, Suzanne would do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she, she probably is someone that would, uh, does naked and afraid. Absolutely. In Bisbee. In her own hot yeah. tub. Just, just like <laughs> anyone else would think, they're, they're, oh, they're, 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 <laughs> this is a... There, you don't even need cameras. There's no cameras required for it. I, I really like the idea of the challenge of like getting from the hitching post to Elmo's on $5 with no clothes on at Bisbee. I think it's huge. I think it's got a ton of potential. Yeah. Yeah, it has to... Uh, you have to even up the stakes with, with men and women where like, obviously... We did a, mm. a hidden camera prank at a Death Valley party where we had, we could see for probably, I don't know, 10 miles if a car is coming. And so we set up and we had a girl hitchhiking naked. Naked Hitchhiker was the name of the, the prank. Okay. We did it on our own and then ended up selling it to the man show because it was so funny. Uh, so our friend, she was hitchhiking naked next to a broken down uh, minivan and so when <laughs> someone would slow down to pick her up because she's young and hot and naked uh, five of us naked dudes would jump out and go oh, thanks very much <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of them are like German tourists and shit they don't care they're like, yeah, they're like okay, get in, yeah. come into the minivan yeah, it's very very hot well you'd be no clothes <laughs> so yeah that uh, oh, I love it uh, fuck and then what did you do with it? I, so you sold it to the man show. And then uh, did you not expand it further to... No, no, we just... Uh, the, the point is, if we were to do Naked and Afraid... Uh, Disney? Urban, yeah. Urban edition. Yeah. Urban, you would have to have something that... Uh, where a woman doesn't have the <laughs> advantage of... Well, of course, a naked chick, but not a naked guy. You have to, <laughs> so you have to set the rules where it balances that mm. uh, uh, dynamic. I don't know how you balance that out, though. Yeah, I mean, that's how do you I balance that? Mexico with a pizza box that said, you know, need a ride. Yeah, and then uh, when I got a ride, my boyfriend would jump out of the, the bushes and we get a ride, and that's we went all through Mexico. I yes. know that's that was the yes. whole that yeah. was the whole that's setup the to make a exactly. hitchhiker. Yeah. Don't yeah. you hate when the fucking guy's off in the bushes and you pick her up? <laughs> Which I was always the opposite. I would never pick up a chick hitchhiking alone because, no. oh, st fucking stranger danger. <laughs> right. that, that guy that should have been in the bushes is looking for her, mm -hmm. and now he's going to be hitting your bumper go, what are you doing, totally. my girl? All right, so then what you're saying really is bad. you would pick up a naked guy before a, a naked, naked girl. girl. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, interesting. I don't know. It's an interesting concept. No, no, nobody fucking starts me too. Fucking uh, <laughs> no naked dude says, "Yeah, I was just naked and hitchhiking, and then this guy." <laughs> Gretchen, I, you need to be my agent. You I could really have helped you. maximize ah. my naked and afraidness. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just feel like you are such an entity of yourself that I love you. you have. So much potential for many things. I've got ideas. Mm -hmm. I've got ideas. I've got. I've got a couple of. I got a couple ringers. Well, you know what? I am now plugged into the biggest production companies because we're trying to sell a show about Bisbee. You're doing it right. Yeah, yeah, which I'm so insulted that Doug's like, "Oh, will you just run for mayor?" I'm like, "But yeah. that's separate from." No, but I want. Yeah. That's <laughs> is it not? <laughs> okay. Yeah, because no, I no, ran no. into Kevin no, this weekend. No, I Kevin, go, Kevin I can, this weekend was like, Gretchen's running for mayor because this other fucking guy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You're great. No, you know what? But then I, I saw that Ken Budge is running for mayor again. Right. Yep, and he is. And had I known that, I might not have jumped this fast because I heard you would like to run for mayor. This not this time, friends though. Friends don't let no, friends run for I'm like, mayor. I wouldn't. No, I would, I know, no and I don't want half of the town to fucking hate me all the time. You know I, I like people to like you. Don't give a no. shit. All right, I and give we're a back shit. with men talking. <laughs> hey, we're on another uh, episode of yeah. Shush Shush Men Talking. Shut the fuck up. With me and all the ladies in the world. 
You uh, <laughs> actually, and it was one of my questions, but then as I researched more, uh, you, uh, like, where do you go from naked and afraid? You get some kind of a modicum <laughs> yeah. of fame. And uh, uh -huh. you actually, you, you, you do motivational speaking. You do. I would love to do more. All right. I'm available for work. So if you need something motivational, I'm your girl. Eva, Call me first. Eva Rupert with one P.com. Uh, you can go there. That's a good place. Uh, and yeah, you, you, you write well. I don't uh, ever think of it as like, I like it feels like this. effervescent Eva well, Rupert. I think somebody else, didn't somebody else coin that? What, that fucking? Effervescent wow, Eva? Look at What's you that? Like that. That's good. You've done your research. I'm, I'm really impressed. I think this is great because I feel like I'm just hanging yeah, out and like somebody's, well, we're in I, Warren, I will, I will a neighborhood in Bisbee, Arizona. Much. This is lovely. I yeah. love this. Yeah. No, but you know I'm what? Tell you you never thought stuff. about this back when you were at Rizzo's in Sherman, Connecticut. Oh my here. God. Oh, what? Cars. Talk about. See, wow. See, she just worked on cars for free, but she's like, you are such an intimidating woman. I'm so mad at you right now because... You know all this shit about her, but when I came on, you didn't know nothing about me. So, like, I'm going to call them out for Thank you. Aww. Thank you. Yes. Anything. But still, I'm just You're saying so that he's like, Jordan, you, I, you should feel special. Like, when I came I on, he's like, oh, ha, 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 no. I nothing about you. Oh, God damn it. Did you research on you? Right? On you did so not. Like, totally. I love that you did that on her. But I that's, love that. That's like how, and they had all these snacks. When I, I didn't have these snacks. You just, oh, Gretchen, no. <laughs> Gretchen, you come to my, I don't have a podcast yet, but you'll be my first guest. I'm going to do so much research and I'm going to have snacks and you guys can you come on be the special guest. You know we need this you guy to press this girl an button. hour. When she was a student in Bethel, she had an hour where she turned it into an art class, a photography class. She's not just a student, she ran the program. You give this girl an hour, she'll give you a goddamn right. podcast. Yeah, and what about me? What about the hours that you spent on to find out about me? <laughs> I, I told Eva I wanted to do a, um, a, a, a serial killer uh, burlesque. It's act. on the. And she we goes, were just. Oh, let's do a whole show around it. Yes. Like, Thank yeah. you. No, that is Friday night. Okay. April 19th at the Jonquil Motel. It's Beautiful. a Jeffrey Dahmer themed burlesque show. I got my It's, it's, it's going to be good. Oh. It's gonna be so good. I've, uh, everybody knows Andy about it. Andy Andrus is gonna be here the fucking be week before oh, that. Yeah. Wait, but he, will you be here so you can? Will you be here? Because yeah, you were just April, saying April four twenty weekend, yeah. April nineteenth. You were okay. just saying it's you gonna be to good. Stay at the hotels and like. Yeah, no, but that's I know. Thing. I did rent the house next door. I've got a space. No, I've no. got you know. I, we we've got options in old business. I have I have sober drivers. <laughs> you, we need that. Okay, good. No Uber. Uh, well, yeah, it's down to Derek now yeah. that I called okay. him last night. I'm like, how do you get Channel 4? <laughs> So well, now I think there's a plan. We got a plan. Yeah. Yep. He's Friday night, it's going to be good. It's yep. going to be fun. It's going to be super you fun. Check me a, sorry, would you check yeah. me a, a, a paper towel? Yeah. All right. Now, I just I, would like just to give say. give her an idea and she makes an event. I, uh, all right. She's awesome. But I'm going to say. I'm like, wait, we need a reason to have a party? I think this what, is, is a Sunday? Great. <laughs> we should have, though. It's a Jeffrey Dahmer. This is that. Suzanne's creation. Okay. It's she okay. is. This is the one you wouldn't let me do yes. the riot girl because it was too dark. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah, I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> and it's I, my favorite thing is I'm like, oh yeah, and then on Friday night we're doing a Jeffrey Dahmer themed burlesque show, and people are like, happy hour. I like the happy hour part. Uh, uh and I'm like, yeah, no, it's awesome. And they're like, know? oh yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Well, so it's great. So we add the John Wayne Gacy art show. Yes, <laughs> yes, without a doubt. I just feel like the weirder, the better, right? And like, no I have harm, a no great fault. Crawl space for that. Uh, wow, a Gacy's crawl space <laughs> art show. Like you have to duck a little yes. bit. and There's some nails coming down. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think it's perfect. Yeah. I think it'll be really fun. I it's just feel like fun. you know what? You have a sense of humor. That's me. Like I know people yes. are like, oh, this seems like not in good taste i'm like totally it's a humor you know we're saying it no, in you a just joke don't invite the people that don't have good taste I, right and or, here's or, the thing like, like, not good taste. a sense of humor yeah sorry. yeah yeah I was saying, no people have good taste aren't coming we need the people that have a sense of humor <laughs> yes yes and who's who is who's the judge of all this stuff? You like this thing, you like that thing, you yeah. like the other thing. 
Right. Nobody's writer than anybody else. Yeah, as then far just as I'm know concerned. who you're inviting. Is right. My point. Yeah. Right. And and invite them to a Jeffrey Dahmer themed thing. Don't say, <laughs> "Hey, we're having a, right. a, it's Mickey a Mouse. fun night yes. or live <laughs> entertainment." <laughs> say, it's what did you say? A Jeffrey <laughs> Dahmer serial yes. killer. Oh, is it Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy? I, did, oh, I can't God. keep it straight. I, I can't get my crosstalk. I cannot. There's uh, goddamn crosstalk. That's why Suzanne Walsh. Alex you know is what? pissed. Just she can't fucking control the crosstalk. And remember that we're recording. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer is the uh, <laughs> guy that murdered all the boys. Mm. And then what was the other one? We were just, oh, Bundy's a different Bundy. thing. Bundy. Yeah. John and Wayne what, Gacy. But, I mean, yeah, we got a lot. The, most murdered the, the gals. Yeah, with the, with the clown. That's the yeah. Gacy guy. Yeah, so that's that, what that was I the think, boys. Yeah, but that's the one you want to do no. is the... Ted oh, wait, Bundy. no, am I wrong? We're doing if Ted Bundy. If someone oh, shows oh. up dressed in the wrong attire, <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Gacy, not Dahmer. <laughs> Let me go to my car. I think I have something. Uh, oh, that's oh, so I funny. love it. That's so bad. You know, that's my favorite thing about Bisbee, though. Most people mm -hmm. have such a good sense of humor that they get it. Like, none of us mean any harm ever in anything we're doing. It's just funny if you have a good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't, then you're going to be offended and don't come, you know? And, uh, uh, you know, to me, Wait, that's... Wait, oh, that's, shit. That's, that's, sorry. That's, I was like, <laughs> why am I... Uh, sorry. I'm not, Can you get her a you new glass? You put that right there. All right, well, now you're hanging okay, so mine. Yeah. My, you know what? Well, I, you, you don't care. I am so... Bugs, I'm going to so pick I'll my toes for a minute really quick. Yeah, just leave go. me alone. <laughs> I'm just so about... that. Freedom, <laughs> and that's the thing to Find me. Like we have so lost our ability to agree to disagree, and I don't give a shit. I have so many friends that I disagree with about whatever, but I still love you, and we still should be able to be friends. Like how terrible that we're in this thing hey, in the this... world where you know <laughs> nobody. Uh -huh. Is no, this marrying? You're marrying. Is marrying. this Springer's final great. thoughts? Yeah. What the fuck is going on I with this it. podcast? No. Where we should I'm all just, get along? No, I'm We're not just even done with, done with fucking bugs crawling I up our asshole. But I'm just <laughs> saying that we've gotten to the space where people can't. It, uh, it's <laughs> freedom. <laughs> like freedom should be. You should be. I, I, I like everyone that I like. I don't care what. I'm going to have to work on your campaign speeches. Wait. Wait, what's wrong with me saying I think freedom should be across the board and everyone I should I think be in the free. corporate world they call it redundancy, where you've said it once and you don't need to... Uh, if you're telling you're a so, lie, you need to repeat it over and over again until so right, people you're believe right, it. You're but right, you're, right. you're saying yes. the truth, and let's get back to bugs in a cuda. Okay, let's do that. People <laughs> tune in to bugs in a cuda, not so much the uh, parallels of morality. <laughs> Oh, I love it. All right, let's talk about well, the bugs in your cooter because the people. She was. <laughs> Gretchen, she, I love and support all of your decisions. She you was I, standing on the, at the at West Cliff outside of San Jose with a coffee in her hand, and the storm <laughs> clouds were rolling in, and you had to make a decision. And I was like, "Peace out, motherfuckers! I'm leaving." Man, you're really good. This is this is intense. This is deep. She was deep research. Like this is like. Yeah. This is like, innuendos, what, huh? No, what, no, what? no, no. It's like literally a podcast that I did, what, like probably. What's the internet? One year you were ago? on. A long time ago. Uh, well, let's, let's just use Jeff as the example. Okay. Well, no, no, no. Let's go to XL because you had a bunch of dudes. Bunch the, of dudes. When, were the dudes playing up because they all. Everyone, there's no such thing as reality when there's a camera because everyone of knows, okay, I'm being. Were, were you, were they do you, uh, playing more? to the camera or to the person, your partner? Are you playing to mm. them or, or is anyone smart enough to be playing to the eventual viewing audience? That's a really good question. And I, so that's a really good question because I'm thinking about it for myself and I don't, I wish I remember like. Do you trip? Like mushrooms, yeah. LSD, ketamine. Mushrooms. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This would be. <laughs> this would be like Patreon only if we could all do mushrooms and watch your show on mushrooms Ooh. and go. What were you fucking thinking there? Oh, dude, because like you'll be you. able to see it. You'll yes, see it in my face, and I'll be like, "Oh, that was the moment when I was like, you know, whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know." Um, Let's do that. That's. That's Patreon only. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 
We're going to we're going to make a in on the joke Patreon <laughs> level where you have to pay a lot of money so we can talk shit about people that oh. like, like that fucking guy. Uh. <laughs> oh, not Alex. No, he's really nah, nice. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, them? Yeah, the, 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 built a fucking a guard tower over my house. What the fuck house. is that? He's it's got a, little people. It's a storage unit. It's a it's a two decker storage unit to, to look down into my house. Creepy. Uh, he's expecting Johnny Depp to show up at any moment. I don't know. Ew. Uh, so what do you do? Put up and, a bigger fence? Like what yeah, is that? Yeah, what do you do? We, we'll talk about it off the air. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and, and will he? You edit this, right? These are cut. Yeah. You're no. Nah. No, fuck it. it. Yeah. <laughs> So is that why he did it? He did anyway, it. let's go back yeah. to... Uh, we'll put that on the your, on the mayoral episode, episode yeah. 927. <laughs> I was looking Neighbors and mayoral backyard. candidates of Bisbee. Uh, yeah, no, no the, the mushroom episode of... Uh, it's going to be good. Watching Naked and Afraid and like, all right, that's such a lie. That, that was a cheat. I, I think cheap everybody's edit. got their own angle, right? Like, I feel like I'm like real stoic. I just kind of want to get in there and I want to do my thing. And like, I don't always like... Like, I feel like I'm kind of a cheese ball anyways. And so I feel like if I'm on TV, I'm like, okay, I got to be like the straight person. Like, I got to get in there and like, I got to be really serious and I got to like, you know, catch a lizard and like make a good shelter and like rub the sticks together real nice. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of my thing. That's my shtick, you know? And, but like, I think some people come in and they're like, I'm going to kill a boar and I'm going to be a big character. Naked and afraid is going to be the biggest thing in my entire life. And, and it, it, it just is. runs the gamut. Yeah. But don't you think it probably is? It probably for is. For most people. And yeah. I think that well, here's what pisses me off is I think people think that I think. That Naked and Afraid well, is the biggest well, thing in my life. I don't give a fuck no, that's about Naked like and Afraid. saying that uh, she's, uh, what, you think you're a goddess? No, you're not. No, she's always thought nothing less than she's a goddess. And that's <laughs> right. why I she think fucking, I'm fabulous. Yeah. That's why I she do. dumped I think that I'm guy. Fab- and, and that guy <laughs> asked her. God, what article is this? This is from something article? not too long ago. Singular? <laughs> <laughs> This is like the best research podcast I've ever been on. I love I it. Know, that's I so love amazing. it. This is yeah, really I'm good. So, Cheers. So Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm so love so this. Insulted. Cheers. He Yay. checked you out and didn't give a um, shit about it. Uh, oh, Gretchen. Um, excuse no. me, lady. We have further business coming up. I'm saving you. Yes. Oh, you're going to sacrifice me. Too. Yes. No, no, no. Oh, you're running for mayor. That's a side that's project. Fair. That's why you're the Ed McMahon here. I'm the Ed McMahon. We're not going to bring up your. We're not trying to bifurcate. <laughs> Naked and afraid, and you running for mayor. Totally. <laughs> Wait, what? What was it that he would always say, Ed McMahon? Whenever, uh, what? What was his comment always? There was like a uh, one. I, I, I forget the catchphrase thing. Yeah, but there was something. So I just need you to feed that to me. Can someone look it up so I can just keep saying that to the rest of the book? <laughs> We're gonna look it up on purpose, Gretchen. <laughs> no, look it up. Look Here's it. Johnny. Well, no, Dylan no, Dylan. it wasn't that. Uh, Ed McMahon uh, would. This say, I've had out because. Uh, just, I was trying to follow, like, when you go, like, you're still doing adventure shit on your own. All kinds. Yeah, except kinds. it's not naked. No, I wear clothes, usually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Unless I'm in the shower or something. So, uh, you, that, that Bill guy, Bill fucking, uh. Bill Dragu. Uh, d- 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 yeah. Good dude. Yeah, you went, uh, and you met up with him, you, you went to 191. Up here through uh-huh. Springerville. Have you been up that road? No, I, have I've you been, been through Morenci? I've been this, this far. This yeah, Morenci. Yeah, that's where one block. Ben, uh, hey, one block. Shout out. And you went up <laughs> here, and then you you just like you you're off road a lot of the time. Tons. That, that's when you get to uh, past Ely. Uh-huh. I, I know you said this one off road thing goes from Austin. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Nevada, which yeah. is fucking crazy it's cool. Crazy out there. I love. I my my go to is to just drive the back roads of Nevada. It's, you do it on a fucking dirt bike. It's the best. It's the absolute best. Have you ever done it in a car? <laughs> it's so much better. Like when it you have rains air conditioning? in a car. Yeah, and it's just, yeah, totally. Bugs they hit like the, the car. They don't yeah, get in your face and all that. Not even in your teeth awesome. or anything. <laughs> I'm going to show you the world. <laughs> Once we get rid of this fucking Sterling character, <laughs> the love of her life, <laughs> Sterling Norn, the fucking uh, the picture he did was the uh, 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 Caballero Blanco, which is about Micah True, oh. who's a long distance runner that died actually on a trail in Gila. He had a, uh, I think it was fuck. This was, is uh, so good. I know. I it's swear so good. to, I'm like blown yeah. away right now. Like it's what? A, it's I love fucking, that you know this. Uh, 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 fucking idiot uh, um, 
uh, uh, cardio cardiomyopathy. My, 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 yeah. Yes, Micah True. He's like amazing, yeah, amazing fucking died inspiration. Died with his fucking feet in the crick, and they go, ah. Oh. But it took him like days because it's in Mexico, and they had to drag him out on a horseback. If you see the film. Uh, it's a uh, Caballero Blanco. Caballo Blanco. Ca Caballo. Yeah. I don't know how to fucking it's so speak good. the Mexican. It's, it's so good. It's so good. Well, you know, you can have like a little bit of the Caballo Blanco experience. The first weekend of May, we're doing a long distance running camp at the Chonquil. So oh, you yeah, can come, no, you can learn how to I've run. I've had the runs long distance. It's exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was trying to follow your route when you went uh, uh, off road totally. biking, but you you went through Ely and the yep. Jawbridge, Jawbridge, Jarbage, Jarbage. Yeah, uh, they don't put it on here. It's like right there. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then up through Awahi, and then you wound mm -hmm. up somewhere. It's so good. You, you, you kind of trailed off on that story, but I was trying to follow because <laughs> this is what we like to do. The next tour, I will always, when I have no act and I'm going to work out an act and go, I do the mountain time zone because no one can hear you scream. Like, you can suck all you want. All the places you ride fucking yes. bikes to. Out. Absolutely. Yeah, Winnemucca, fucking Ooh. no problem. Ely, you could be Nevada, big in Winnemucca. Sure. Yeah. Idaho Falls. Yeah, yep. yeah I've yep. sucked. My last book is titled No Encore for the Donkey, and it's based <laughs> on a specific one show in Idaho Falls oh, that I've done that. since the 90s and then the decay of the place over the, yeah. It's, oh, that's uh, awesome. So, yeah, I, I, I love, uh, yeah, what you do, except I don't like that you're a woman doing it. <laughs> Female comedians always uh, talk about how they have a hard time having relationships and people are like, you're a chick. You fucking, anyone will fuck you. No, it's not like that. And I see <laughs> it isn't? why not female busy. comics would be intimidating. <laughs> not busy. Because uh, like, even for me as a comic, you have a guy, Sterling, that is a guy that does the same shit as you. And that's probably the only way you could have a relationship where like, I'm a guy that, I've literally hired a handyman to change a light bulb. And you're a fucking Rizzo as a kid fucking pulling out transmissions in fucking Sherman, Connecticut. So now you know how to do everything and you're six feet fucking tall and you ride motorcycles off-road alone. And I'm going, ah, Dollar Tree was out of it. And I'm going to get on next door and complain with the other old mensch women about, yeah, Dollar Tree, there's lead in the fucking cinnamon and there was a recall. But I, I would risk a little bit of lead for, for a, a bargain. <laughs> that so would be good. very upset if That's you were so like fucking, you know, doing push-ups and then fucking riding your Harley up to Prowl Fest. <laughs> Like, oh, I, I'm scared to ride on the back. Can you put me in a papoose? I, I'm getting a sidecar. I'll pick you up. You just sit and tuck right in there. It'll be all right. I'll come get you. That's awesome. That's so good. I, my face hurts. Right. Well, my we're, face you know, hurts. Bingo. Yeah, it's so good. Bingo, it's come so wrap good. us up. It's, oh my what god, yeah, it's so we're, good. She's uh, just uh, she's uh, she's just, wrapping up as the podcast host, asking other questions. I'm just yeah. gonna yeah. I'm just gonna we'll, take over the podcast. Yes. 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 Take we're gonna over take now. over the pod. Right. <laughs> Love it. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait, that fucking that podcast, your first podcast you ever did with uh -huh. Tone, Tony, Tony, Tone, Tony, oh god, with the toes, Tone with the toes. Tone. Oh, yeah. Um, How could you there, not? There, where, where was that? That Flagstaff or something? I want to say it was Flagstaff. You you knew him, obviously, or you wouldn't have done it. Probably. Well, I knew him. You were on I don't episode know I, seven. He's fifth? actually done like at least 40 episodes Has of that. He? A lot of them, I, I think, are with his He's sister. He's a good dude. He's you a good dude. He seemed like a very nice dude where you go, why did you think you should do a podcast? <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you you'd be a good podcaster? No, but you decided to do it anyway. Oh, He's a very so sweet, sweet, very nice guy. Okay, Tony. So you, you went to Madagascar. What's that like? Did he say that? Yes. Oh, just, Jesus. Just think. 
<laughs> like if you, you know, where was kids this like do the early uh, days of podcasting though? Like, did podcasts exist? No, when it was his that? early days. Like yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it just <laughs> reminds right. me of that Saturday Night Light skip with uh, Chris Farley. It was like, remember that time he was with Paul McCartney mm-hmm. when you did that? That was cool. And Paul's like, yeah, that was cool. Like, <laughs> it was it, very similar. Like yes, that. it was very uh, similar. Was there was no like question. That. It was yeah. just statements, and yeah. you don't know how to yeah. react. And, he, and he, it was flow real. That's flow what it was. real. He, he just had this catchphrase. I love they it. Kept, and I like, I like to flow with people. And I've, I, I, I love and it. And that's your flow. Uh, so there was, in the background of the podcast, Occasionally, there was a, 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 a building being torn down <laughs> behind, <laughs> was like, and no one addressed oh it. This is an hour and thirty nine minute podcast. <laughs> I mean, it was loud. And occasionally, there's just da, 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 jackhammers oh and God. stuff like right there, and <laughs> you never so mentioned nice. it. He till about I love that. an hour and eleven or something. That they're like. What is going on right there? I don't know. And then you just go back to ignore this overpowering <laughs> so 9-11 is, is happening so right cool. behind them. I, yeah. I'm so good at like doing <laughs> stuff like this and then never watching it yeah. or seeing it. Like I remember Tony was from Santa Cruz and he just wanted to talk about Santa Cruz the whole time, which was like a five minute stint in like a brief period of but my But isn't young that life. where the, uh, the, 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 the cliff, the West Cliff is that you were getting coffee and... Yeah, did I like leave in a fit of rage? And then you because went to the West Cliff and you were, you were leaving, and that I don't know. I gotta the listen to the podcast. Are rolling I'm in. very in. The, I'm like a toddler. It's like very in the moment for me. Like it happens. It's everything, yeah. and then I'm done, and it's I don't, gone. I don't remember. Yeah, but you're, you're the same. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I I'm the same. Like I, I know. There. I love it. It's great to. I don't need to read. Yeah, she's got a two hundred three phone number. Yeah, no, I'm so much. I was there. I saw it. Like I don't need to rewatch it. So like I, I, I don't need to. Yeah. Like oh, podcast. And- no, I mean just everything. Like if you're there, do you need to rewatch it? You were there. Mm. You said it. You saw it. Like I don't need to now re-listen and see. Uh, Chad, who I should have uh, called to be here. Uh, he's, Did I do his uh, podcast too? No, no, no. Uh, he's my usual <laughs> co-host. <laughs> But we, oh, we're legendary for it. As soon as the podcast is over, we have no idea what we said. Right. I think that's everything. That's like the though, story really. of my life. Yeah. Though. Like, I think that's everything. Yeah. I just like, I, yep. I don't know. Go. Like, I don't really, I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. Yeah, I don't know. Happiness. Uh, happy. I know. I'm pretty yeah. happy. Yeah. I think <laughs> Kind of good. oblivious. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you need to relive what you just did or should you just let it stand? And that's the way mm. I am. Like, what, I it, it, to, yeah. What, when you're podcasting, the only problem it leads to is like, did I say this already last week? Did I, I do I talk about this every time? Right. Mm. When I can't differentiate between a social situation and the recorded part of it. Mm, right. Especially in this format where uh, we can talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know when this. Out of my toenails yeah, this week yeah. or should I do it next? Right. Yeah. Or do we just bring it, is it a theme? We I just mean, bring it back. People but, love it. But you even said that to me, Doug, that I was being redundant because I'd said that. Like, you don't know, like, you just talk and then sometimes you're like, oh, I Oh, I know. That was me busting your balls. Yeah, but you're right. Like, I thought that I was about the Bisbee know. Breakfast Club with, like, the yeah, often I, imitated, never copied. No, but no. I, I was. Was trying to say freedom and he's like you said that already <laughs> okay okay yeah but i mean i think it's just all of us like we're talking and we don't really realize and now you had an alcohol of course i don't know what the hell you've been doing for 19 okay. years bingo, you, you said bingo okay yeah. you said yeah. that you know no, i no. have to pee where's I, the bathroom speaking of alcohol too, through that door yeah, okay go. Go. Or wherever. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. wherever you want. Yeah. Just gonna go yeah. squat in the corner. There, there, there's no. a map. I, I'm you sure we're just all so redundant. There's I'm taking a piss. No, you know, like, I gotta you're pee. Just gonna make you your point. I go through here. You don't realize you've already made your point, and then you make it again, and people are like, oh, you already said that. That is a. Uh, 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 Russ Dunn was a friend. He did local theater here back when I don't know what happened to Ray fucking. He died. Ray was a no, guy. No, no, no. The- Russell. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, yeah, sure Russell aware died. Of okay. that. Yeah, but Ray, whatever, he, obscure production. He was our best friend. No. Um, <laughs> Bisbee Obscure Productions. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he had a. I forget my point now. 
Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like we have so many drinks in that no one. This is this would be a good. That's podcast. My, that was my point. Sorry, he said when he had to play a drunk, he said people always do it where they slur. No, they really just talk louder and repeat themselves. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, that that's true. I'm sure, but I just think that what you're doing is so fun and incredible and yeah you, you when you add in the alcohol people are going to repeat themselves because yeah, they don't yeah. realize it I, I already said that to you yeah that's the, the problem is when you're used to dealing with comics you have no f filter on going yeah you already said that you fucking moron because that's how comics talk <laughs> oh, to each other in a green room that's what so, I'm going to tell you go ahead. that I feel like because Danny did stand up not not well yeah. it was I know, poor, no, we yeah. know. But, uh, the entire stand-up community of, very of that hard. era. Yeah. Knew. But I'm saying that when you say the same jokes and, and you do it in print, I'm like, should you keep saying that? Like, I, I don't understand mm. the philosophy in saying the that's same joke whole, over and over and over. That's like, why you move. Yeah. That's why you don't. Yeah, because it just looks stupid yeah, now that you said this exact joke. Well, you times say it in El Paso, in and then you say it yeah. in San Antonio, and then you say it in Austin, Dallas, and you don't I say it fine in one place over and over. Yeah, and over but again. I feel like when you're doing it in stand up, it's fine because you're in different cities. But I think when you say it in print, that's a distinction. Like you're seeing the same quote, print, 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 yeah. and now you look redundant. Right. Yeah. And so that must be hard for you as a comic and all the comics like to say their joke. That's but, why I refuse yeah. to do interviews unless I'm asked. Unless you're asked. So if if we yeah, ask yeah. you <laughs> to do it. Yeah, but don't you think that's got to be very hard? He heavy-handed. I mean, you you got it. You have to fisted approach to the media. You want to be so like <laughs> unless you really want me to do it. You know, By I just asking. feel like that must be so hard on you that you have these great jokes and you and in print, like in a in a stand up environment, people are hearing it new, but in print over and I, over, like how do you do I, it I, with not, you know, looking redundant? I think you just said that three times. In I know, a row, I just said and I it did. Was fantastic every time. I know, wasn't uh, it great? <laughs> Listen to me say redundant. <laughs> it was redundant. Uh, it's uh, so redundant. I'm so redundant. I totally know that I am. So I, I like know no, that. You're, but you're fine. No, I am redundant. Yeah, you're, you're, but you're, I, you're, I just like I marvel at what you do and how you do it and how you are brave enough to say whatever you think, knowing that this is going to have a backlash if I say this. And how do what I? What if we ran for mayor for real? I am. against each other, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the loser, because uh, like a Michael Bean bet, uh, the loser, yeah, has to the, is the winner. If one of us wins, you have to be mayor for two years. <laughs> yeah. I won't. You know what? <laughs> that is a great. <laughs> I won't. I won't, I won't lose. I, I won't be sad. You know, like I have tried, and here's you what I'm going to try to do. Now. No, I'm. You know, I'm, all right, oh, all right, bingo, all right, I'm right. so like Teflon. Like nothing yeah. bothers. That's why I'm perfect. Because oh I don't god, I'm having great ideas now that I think Make we should the, wrap this baby. goddamn podcast up. Hang on, yes, slowly. Yes, you. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> I still have fresh squeeze. I, I would just like to say I'm running for mayor. And but I'm no, totally no, no, we're not rushing this. Gretchen 2024. Don't, don't worry. He's like, we're, you're redundant. We're, we're, like, rehash the 20 times I've Listen, said. we're going to do... You, uh, well, God damn it. Man down. I think I know what I'm doing. And then I do it too fast. Wait, well, you're a mixologist I yourself. Am. You I'm really good at getting actually, the booze in the cup. you're a fucking... Yeah, well... <laughs> Oh, triple sec takes the bubbles. Down. Hey, you are girl, you also, know. Well, there's triple sec in there, and you're a good uh, a runner. A little Kahlua in the coffee cup for breakfast. That's it. <laughs> Suzanne knows. She noise. knows. <laughs> uh, you're a, 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 not just a mixologist, but also on the road, on our back fucking roads. <laughs> <laughs> Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Gorgeous night. Camp she out. Can make camp a fire. Craft cocktail. A bomb ass of cocktail. Wow. Tell me, tell me, tell me one of your favorites, something you remember, something that comes to mind where you go, oh, I put some Nescafe <laughs> in some fucking 
Malibu rum that made me throw up as a kid, but now I made it good with some instant coffee and a, a little. I bit like of, where you're going with this. I really, I like uh, this. I like this. I like the Nest Cafe. Look, you ah, so look at Suzanne just come through in a pinch. Yeah. Come through in a pinch. Yeah. Please share it's with us what was your alcoholic beverage of choice in Madagascar? None. <laughs> just daydreams. No, Nothing no, but she, she, she is known on her fucking in my little bubble. Yeah, I'm known as the girl with the cocktails. It's great. Oh, so you always want to camp that. with me because I'm gonna pull out my flask. So typically, what I do is I'll pre-mix some cocktails. You know, it's like. I make a lot of bourbon drinks because if they're a little warm, it's fine. Uh, so I'll do like a Boulevardier, which is like bourbon or rye, your preference, uh, Aperol or Campari for a little bit of bitters, oh, vermouth for the sweetness. It's <laughs> so freaking good. It's so good. And then you if just we had a bust camera it out. on you, I'd, you'd be Are going, you taking <laughs> notes? Yeah, yes. Aperol. Go get the Aperol. Just Betty Hill you style. Come over. <laughs> 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 yeah. You pre batch it, then you show up. I got a campfire going. You roll in. I'm like, hey, you want a cocktail? And everybody loves it. It's the best. It's the best. It's the way to do it. Because here's the thing. Like, naked and afraid kind of sucks. It's a pain in the ass. It's really hard. You're hungry. Whatever. So when in, like, normal life, you want to, like, have a kick-ass day where you ride your motorcycle, you're in the middle of nowhere, you do something awesome, and you sit around the campfire and have cocktails and shoot the shit with your friends. That's a good day. Uh, yeah, I read one of those articles, and uh, you, you're talking about... And then he read me some stories uh, about yeah. the fucking moonlight, and I'm like... But then she didn't mention cocktails at all. Like, oh God, what if she doesn't drink? That would <laughs> suck she's so read much. Stories. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be real awkward, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's not awkward. It's so much as it's just a disappointment. But you probably get plenty of people because, like, not drinking is very trendy right now. Yeah, yeah. it's That's, like very. It's kind of a thing. It'll be busy okay. in twenty years. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, maybe. I, maybe. I know people have made transitions to the weed, and I do the edibles, but uh, they're fucking. Yeah, I like to do them together, and then I get so ridiculous <laughs> that I'm, I'm I'm happy I don't have company over. I've never seen you ridiculous. What is a ridiculous? Doug Stanhope look like. I like fucking, I'm not, I, if I do edibles <laughs> and have cocktails and edibles, I am laughing the same as I was 16 years old behind Cook's Pond, laying on my back, <laughs> laughing at fucking nothing. And I go, like, if I had to pretend I was straight, the, the other night, or like, if I had to pretend I was kind of sober, which I can pull off as a lifelong drunk, drunk, <laughs> but not weed drunk, I would be like, <laughs> <laughs> and I might be the only one having a good time, but uh, but it's uh, I'm the only one that's hanging around me at that point. So at that point, who would you want to hang around with? Who do you like when you're in that state? Who are like oh, I gotta be that's a different person? A, a, almost was a difficult question, but the easy answer is someone who is also in that state. You don't want to trip. Would oh anyone, yeah, somebody who's like real tripping. square right then. Mm -mm. You have to be tripping too. I don't care if you're my best friend. I threw fucking Dave Raider out of here once. Oh, I know it's uh, I was like here. just a and mild you, amount oh, of mushrooms, but I have really not tripped hard in years. But I, I like, <laughs> I, I guess I'd call it microdose, and I'm like, y you gotta go. Like mm. you are too serious. You don't, you don't get what <laughs> you have to leave my and we house don't now. The same thing. No. I cannot touch any sort of THC. No weed for me ever. But mushrooms all the way, all the time. What does what does that do to you? The THT that makes THC. you. I I don't know. I don't even know what it is. No, I should, it's weed. Well, that's weed. weed. Oh, that's there. weed. I, I don't know. I don't know those. <laughs> yeah. Things. I can't do you just lost Suzanne's phone. Let, let me be you. <laughs> How about how about uh, I'll be your uh, 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 spokesperson? Yeah. What do you call it? The White House spokesperson. Yeah. Yeah. It's you tell me. I you tell me. You just, what you she needs a little secret service thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. THC. Doug will be in my ear Here's going. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Okay. yeah, I didn't know what that was. Uh, <laughs> so what? I can't. Do I'm pot. down yeah. with the OPP, and I want to just be the first to say that. <laughs> and you say it's THC, yeah, you know not me. OPP. That's, yes. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, good. Yeah, well, I think that you two should be. I'm running now because, you know, I'm in it and now I'm not going to drop. 
out of it. But I think you two should definitely be the mayor and first lady of Bisbee. Like, I don't know why you don't do it. Like, uh, you know, everyone loves you. Everyone loves you. Except for the people who hate us. <laughs> yeah, but there's... Which is there, a lot. There is. I, I yeah. don't feel like there's a lot of people that yeah, hate I, you. Yeah. I'm a murderer and a rapist. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, I'm, that's true. Yeah. Wow. I'm what? also a murderer, oh. but I'm not a rapist. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah. Murder yeah. only. you got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I, I am known as a murderer. Okay, Not but why s- why would they say that? Oh wait, about we're you? still on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, 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 but I want to ask you, why would anyone? Yeah, say we'll do that, that after the podcast. Oh, okay, okay, let's just okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like, why? Is, I mean, Next podcast. You guys are so yeah, lovely. but nobody I actually hates. Nobody that. actually hates you guys. Well, I, I don't. I don't I mean, they I love it. bitching, it. but they, people I love bitching in this town. They love bitching. God, they love bitching. Yep. They got bitching. nothing better to do. I, They've been bitching yep. since 1967. It's my job. Oh, no. It's my job. That's my job description. No. I it's complain people about things. Someone, yeah. I, I learned this word because a, 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 a critic in the UK called mm-hmm. me a uh, a miserableist, That's which so I'd good. never heard the word, and it's someone who can oh, only enjoy good. themselves when they're miserable. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's, that's awesome. what. Yeah, that, three and a half I decades feel, of I fucking like comedy. Don't you hate? <laughs> no, that's what comedy is. It's yeah. fucking complaining about yeah. things. And I, then say, I feel like that's you. I think he nails <laughs> you, right? Joke, <laughs> I, agree. I, I was like, that is the best description. Yeah. All right, miserable. Bingo, take us out of this. We're right, fucking bingo. devolving into. Mimosa mayhem here. Ooh, and that, you know, okay. Ava, Ava Rupert, R U P E R T, just the one P. Who's gonna eat this plenty. worm out of my hand uh, right now? Yeah, baby. And you, you, you do all, <laughs> all sorts of stuff now. It's a, a, a go to her website and just see what she's done, what she writes, where she's going, and she's not done with the survivalist thing, the naked thing. Well, we heard, you know, born nineteen eighty. <laughs> At some point, you, you, you people are going to tell you to stop doing the naked part. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor of Bisbee. Mm-hmm. I, I think I think it's a a a, 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 a steam train <laughs> freight train freight roller. You can't be stopped. You're obviously going to be. The I'm going to win. I'm, I'm just going to win. Even though the incumbent, who nobody has any issues with, who's not divisive whatsoever. <laughs> If you can divide this community, I'm gonna divide like, it. I'm fucking taking a hammer and a sledgehammer and build I'll that add wall. Build that, build that wall. wall. And we're Warren's gonna, gonna wall. pay for it. No, we're gonna build the wall between Warren and Old Bisbee. Yes. And- Warren's paying for it. Warren's <laughs> definitely oh, gonna pay. You know, and no. I'm gonna charge all no, of Bisbee for it. Not if she's the mayor. <laughs> no. What? You're in charge no, of the- what? I said I'm going to charge all of Bisbee for the wall that's coming up. Here. Yes, all Bisbee. Warren and old yes. Bisbee. We're the new Bisbee. Not Let's fucking it change it. We're the new from, Bisbee. From, Ooh, okay, new here's, Bisbee. here's something to look into. Okay. There is something on the book somewhere that uh, Warren can't have a bar. Yeah, that is true. So yep. fucking run on that. Okay. To start. Okay. Do you even have bullet points of what you're going to run on? Fucking no. You're supposed to. I think wait, you have like wait, two days before wait, you have no, to no, have your no, fucking. No, your April paperwork. 1st. Uh, if you want, you know, April you want to end this. But but I, have, I have a list that I have written All up. Right, we'll get to that. Right. So not now, get, though. It's but not in the, the time. meantime, <laughs> if you're going to plug one thing. Yeah. Your Airbnb. We almost bought one of the houses and we've stayed at one of the other houses and they're the place to stay. In fact, yes. our crew, when we're doing that thing, stayed at one of your... Yeah, what happened so to that? So, the Greenway house. You get, you just give them a fucking oh, plug. Okay, uh, Greenway Manor is my house. On and, Airbnb? Uh, yeah, Airbnb, booking, Do you have Gretchen Bonaducci.com that can get them there? No. Never Plus thought of that. Out. No, I have thought of it. You don't I, own I, ben, I just don't know how to do it. Never it. No. I'm buying it. I own, no. I own my, I own Sterling Noreen, my boyfriend. I own SterlingNoreen.com. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm too Do you have busy. Doug Stanhope.com? I'm far too busy to <laughs> okay. think of these things, but I have Greenway Manor, Hacienda del Avion, Boho Hip Bisbee Bungalow, and Lower East Side, New York. Bisbee Bungalow. And the... <laughs> 
my restaurant, which you didn't mention, which is in the top ten in the world. Oh, Cornucopia. Yeah, it's so I did good. mention it. It's, it's so good. It's the Cornucopia Cafe. I yeah, it should be for sure. Sixteen ounce mimosas. Yeah, we have big ones. Sixteen ounce mimosas. Yep. Big mimosas. Yep. So yes, like, like well, that I've size. had four. Four there you ounce go. mimosas, that so it's the same goddamn thing, okay. except mine spill. I'm drunk. And Suzanne Walsh, oh, yeah. who's known for, uh, why is that jacuzzi bubbling when it's turned <laughs> off? <laughs> uh, and you know what I love about her the best? When you're at a bar and you just go, oh, my shoulder hurts all of a sudden, boom, boom, there's needles in your back. Yes. Oh, no, she that, just that, that's my favorite is six no, in no, the that's morning. the locals that hate you throwing darts <laughs> at you. Nah, <laughs> they, oh, my favorite it. is getting into the hot tub at six in the morning and Doug and Ichabod, his dog, walking by, and I'm getting in there, and I turn around, and he's just standing there looking at me and laughing. Oh, my God. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, you're like, oh, my God. Anyone walking down yeah, the street can stop. look at you. They don't, you. Like they don't see you. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm goofing on I you. Know, I thought that was hysterical. I cracked up so hard. You, you obviously <laughs> clear trees so fucking pedestrians can look at you getting into a hot tub. I'm appealing to Eva. I love it. I yeah. love it. Naked, naked and not afraid. We're taking it back. Oh, you should see yeah. it. It's oh, hot. You'd, you'd be afraid of that hot tub. <laughs> if, there, if there was a true history... Uh, uh, that's that's the um, tub. Exactly. Oh, tales right. from the Let's tub. Take us out so oh, we can talk. Let me, let me take a. Oh yeah, yeah. Go okay. give a plug because okay. I get a piss again. So because because this is a corporate. Talk so to the I camera. To be cool, but tripping, but not on ecstasy. Falling and sober. Try physical therapy and balance center for all your vestibular needs. <laughs> which, which is Say it to the is camera. Hold yeah. on. Is that, are you are you the sponsor? Right yeah. 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 But are you the sponsor of this but podcast? You, you say it one more time. Just, just say the name of the business. Physical F Y Z I C A L. Yes. Physical therapy and balance center for all your vestibular needs and pelvic floor in the future. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I gotta learn it first. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, May I, your pelvic hey, floor be strong and your coffee strong. If you're, if you're my if friend you that's a pilot that's watching, uh, we get to sit yes! next to that pilot. We, and uh, cheers. <laughs> next to us in the first class. Wow. Yeah. And we didn't talk about the hot tub. Yes, we did. I took care of your super fans. <laughs> that's the one. Now he's the actual top three, big three pilot. A guy that oh, really? flew over our, uh, our 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 Super Bowl party. Uh, he was just getting his miles in on a plane that. Yeah. And he so on the way out, he put Stan Hope under the wings and Cute. duct tape, and and buzzed Stop. our house. Stop. The day after party. Oh, no, it's uh, when I filmed my special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No place so I like home. Like five of them stay at my house, what? and he was one, and he, he was laying in my bed with the Mishikushu Ballet album, and I had him listen to Mishikushu Ballet he, uh, all night. <laughs> Ugh. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I like Michigan's music, uh, no. but no, he's a he's a pilot for a big three now, and uh, he sat next to us in first yeah. class accidentally, he and then we smuggled cool. him into the Delta Sky Club, even though he <laughs> flies for one of the other two, and we, we just yeah, it was no. a big blast. <laughs> I, I love that story. And he got his hours like, in right here in Cochise County. Well, I've cut flying uh, some guy he knew that uh, he's got a plane and he lets me fly it down to Bisbee and I'm a fan, so we had him over. Oh, I love that. We actually flew the next day, yeah. all hung over in the plane. Yeah, so, you know, Bingo, gotta take get... us out. I got to piss and we'll talk about all the things we <laughs> can't talk go. about. Is <laughs> 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 ready? Okay. <laughs> go. Bye-bye now! That was the most fun I've had uh, in a while. Wasn't that that fun? I'm like, I'm just going to sit on your porch every weekend and no, like be on yeah, high. Can yeah. I do that? Like, <laughs> I like, yes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, like what do. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. We always just sit here. This is so fun. I love this. And I love Warren, too, because the sun is down in Old Bisbee right now. It's almost 5 o'clock.